We are live. Hi, everybody. Hi. We're, um, I can't remember the cameras there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen. Uh, we're just doing a auction haul video. We picked up a load of stuff yesterday morning. Loads. Loads and loads. So <laughs> our usual practice would be to kind of get it all out, work out average costs across the categories, things like that. So if we've got loads of DVDs, we'll look at how much we spent in total and divide it all down. So we've sort of done some of that work already. We've got it all around us and ready to show. But we haven't opened the bags. No, no. So this auction was online at our local auction house. It's just about 10 minutes down the road, but we can't go there at the moment. So we've been um, bidding online with minimal images of what we're actually bidding on. So it's kind of hope for the best. Um, so yeah, we have lots and lots of clear sacks of stuff. So on um, the auction site, it might say a pair of Reebok trainers and other shoes or other trainers. So you don't know what you're getting. So is it is it worth buying what we bought? Yeah, we won't know yet. <laughs> yeah, we won't know. And um, yeah, I, I suppose we'll make a start then. So uh, if you haven't watched the channel before, I'm. Simon and this is Faye. We're a UK reselling couple. We sell on Amazon and eBay. We do tiny, tiny bits on other sites, but um, we don't really know how to make those work, do we? <laughs> no, because Amazon and eBay take up most of our time. Don't yeah, they? yeah, and I think I think we're sort of backing those two winners for us. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll show you what we got. Um, first of all, we got loads of blu-rays dvds and media so obviously not going to go through it all um but you can sort of see now that's one of the bags and then that's ps4 games and a couple of xbox games uh, Another one there, some box sets in there. Um, a mix balls. of new and new. Yeah. Yeah. Some new, some used, as <clears> Faye <throat> said. Uh, which one haven't I done? That one? Oh, God. Uh, now, this is interesting. Then, if you can see down the bottom on that side, there's Tears for Fears. Oh, that one. Yeah, Tears for Fears, that's sealed. Um, so there's some good stuff in there. One more. God. They're heavy. Yeah. The other way. Is it the other way? Oh, I don't know. No, that is the right way. That's the right way, but obviously the light's not great. But um, so that lot won't open up. Um, but there's I just counted them up. There's 200 games, DVDs, box sets, and we spent a total. Of four hundred and twenty pounds eighty two pence on those, so paid two pounds ten a unit. Now, um, honestly, like, uh, you know, we we don't we like to keep things positive, and a lot of people, I think, feel that um, people that do YouTube videos and Instagram stories always share the positives and don't really talk about the negatives. And of course, there are a lot of negatives of reselling. There's a lot of mistakes and losses and stuff like that. But obviously, you know, that's all a part of the uh, of the game. Um, so all in all, I was a little bit disappointed with some of these packs because we were going in blind. Um, and I had assumed that a lot more of them were new than, than are. So I'm not too worried in terms of profit because across the board, there's some really good ones there. There's 50 pound box sets in there. So, um, you know, we'll make money, but um, you know, you've got to be a little bit careful and you've got to be ready for those sort of disappointments because the next week, um, as it was for us the previous week, you know, it's the other way around. You get, you know, exactly what you're expecting, but sometimes it doesn't go always to plan. Um, but as I say, you know, generally happy, but just could have, could have been happier. Yeah, because on the auction site, when it lists, when you see the DVD listing, you all you see is the bag with DVDs in. So you kind of have to really concentrate to see if there's any that are in, in the um, cellophane, 
try and decipher how many are new and used and it's almost impossible um obviously when you go to the auction house on when the time's about to normal you can have a quick look yourself and see which ones obviously are new which ones are used um but yeah so it is a risk but we are pleased with what we've got yeah yeah some good ones there yeah yeah there's a there's a exactly there's a good mix so what else did we get um what's this one so this is a bag oh you good on this this is a sports stuff oh Doubles. yeah so, yeah this was described as which one is it it's the tummy trainer and dvd footballs training gloves and grips sports net skipping rope compression socks core relief packs etc and we paid about 22 pounds for that now compression socks and stuff right? we haven't opened it i guess there's no time like the present that's what we're here for yeah um and just on a side note there's a it's very windy today we've got the muffler on on the microphone which hopefully is combating the wind but um if it is a bit windy and noisy apologies for that that's the thing about we, we're doing the lives because we're just I just don't have time to edit videos <laughs> so that's why we're doing this live um also there are planes flying around and all sorts going on so we have a tommy trainer with dvd it's been opened but it's all sealed in there let's have a look at it can I have a look on amazon so just scanning that on amazon it's um out of stock which is always a good sign it's really warm yeah uh we've got a absorbent cloth is. oh it's what you hate i think oh, so all per it's a magic towel all purpose sports bath makeup uh, but it's microfiber which you don't like no that's a cheap thing sells for six quid there you go it's easy to stick a label on it send it into amazon with all the others yeah ah compression socks no barcode on that so i can't scan that uh, one. These are by eBay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's a skipping rope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't skip. Um, there's a football net in here. God, bacon in, in bacon in the sun. That is like a thing with a spring that you do that with. Finger crushers. Was that a barcode? Um, no. Oh, no, that's an ASIN, isn't it? It's an Amazon barcode. Six ninety nine. Got a good rank. Yeah, 847. Uh, oh, that's an FN ski, so that won't find it on there, will it? Don't uh, know what it is. Something, oh, it's, some, oh, premium sliders, gliding discs, whatever they are. Right. That's a compression belt thing, isn't it? Or some support belt. Who knows? Who indeed knows? Uh, football, I love that. There's two football. Oh. <coughs> Sling them over there. You have them both? Is that why you bid on them? No, I bid on them for the compression socks, really. And the what is that? Anyone? Upcycle stitch kit. Random in with footballs. Oh, is it like a? Oh, it's a um, like embroidery ring, and it's got threads and pens and stuff in there. Whatever. Random Ooh. edition. I haven't had a notification that we're live, so don't know. It says we're broadcasting, so uh, just check. Yeah. Sarah Resells was in. Hi, Sarah, if you're lurking in the background somewhere that's another, another town. thing so. bear grip train wiser some sporty thing more, more compression socks sort of... that might be a resistance band oh. they're all the rage oh what's this cold pack cold it's pack. hot pack at the moment in the sun, another one. Oh, that one's got a barcode. It's got some little leakage. Uh, and a football net, which we won't get out. Oh, so it's over 22 items there, do you think? Yes, I would say so, yeah. 
yeah, I'll chuck them all in there. Pound an item. It's all right, there's some money there, that's good. As, 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 as Faye said, as we're saying, you know, we have no idea what, what we're going to find in this stuff. You wanted it for the footballs, really, whether that was to sell or keep. <laughs> yeah, it's all... Mainly to keep, I should think. Yeah, it's all part of the fun. I mean, we love charity shops, but we love auctions as well, don't we? We've sort of discovered the fun of them even more, I think, since lockdown, because it's so blind. It is blind, it's fun. I mean, a lot of people love car boots, and car boots are probably our least favourite. We do go to car boots, but <coughs> we just we prefer charity shopping and auctions, yeah. don't we? I mean, mar car boot margins are really good when you're doing car boots, aren't they? Um, and auctions can be sort of the, the worst margins in sometimes. Yeah. Um, but then you get in the volume. So, you know, it's that, it's that trade off, isn't it? Right. This one was described as. Flow clear pool maintenance kit and pool cover, plastic lawn edging, garden arch, and magnetic door mesh. And we paid about 20 to 24 pounds. This was your one, wasn't it? Yeah. You want to get it? Yeah, that's what we're here for. It's really hot. Yeah. So we've sold lawn edging before, haven't we? It's always yeah. it flew when we had it before, and we got that from the auction. Yeah. I'm um, just trying to get this back on. Let's see if I can scan that. Okay. So we're just scanning them onto Amazon, which everyone's familiar with. Eleven ninety nine for that, and there is. We'll see another one. Okay. Maybe no, not. No. Uh, this is what I wanted because everyone's loving their paddling pools at the moment. So this is a best way. Is it a cover? Seat. A fast set, not a fast. Oh seat. yeah, solar pool cover. Oh cool, so it heats your pool up. Unavailable and a really good rank. Uh, no idea if you can see that. Uh, 5,000 rank, so it's going to be decent in whatever category that's in, sports and outdoors or something. And um, as we say this, our dog's just gone in our paddling pool. Looks like a girl. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, not watching it for the dog in the paddling pool. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, so that's good. And then we've got a best way. Go for it. Yeah. Let's have a look. It's another pool accessory. So see, we have to look at this to see whether it's new, used, like new. Twenty-eight pounds. Cool. Uh, also have. Oh, sugar. Simon just tipped it up a box. It had a garden arch it's in it. a garden it. arch, but it's down there now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much is that worth then? This could be an eBay, uh, not eBay, Facebook. $13.99. Sweet. I'm going to pop us on Insta as well at the same time. Uh, okay, and what then else is in there? we've got. It's like a lucky dip. Yeah, this. Oh, we've sold one of these before. Magnetic door mesh keeps the bugs out. Um, we picked one of these up, I think, from a charity shop. It's not available, so we must have sold it on eBay. Um, oh, God, I've hooked my tripod around my teeth. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember on that one. But that'll go on eBay because the barcode's not coming up on Amazon. So, But I, actually, I could sell it to my sister because they want something to stop the flies going in. They said it yesterday. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> said it to your sister. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. Right, so that's that one done. That's emptied out in there. We have a huge pile on my side and a slightly smaller pile on Simon's side, so he's not doing all the show and tell. Yeah. Some of it's... And I think... Yeah, exactly. And I think you're, to be honest... Most of the stuff you've got that side is more interesting. Is that why you did yours first? Get yours out of the way? Yeah, and then I can just put the feet up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move this all out of the sun. So yeah, we decided to do it outside purely because it's cooler out here than it is in the house. The house is roasting. And I just don't like being inside when the weather's so lovely. I have to be outside, otherwise I feel like I'm missing out. Even not missing out on doing anything in particular, but it just 
the weather's just so nice you can make the most of it yeah oh yeah right last random bag from my side <gasps> your so, mug isn't gonna make it no so this was is this the garment steamer one um yeah swan yes. garment steamer three aroma diffusers and two nail dryers and we've paid 50 quid almost for this and when I saw it, I've got to be honest, I said to Faith, let me know, who spent 50 quid on a steamer for? And Faith said it was for, Faith said it was for reselling. And I said, when are you ever? As in, I'm going to keep it and use it. And for... use it for reselling. Yeah, for clothes. She's not going to use it for clothes. Um, so I've just um, gone on live on Instagram and... Hold on, I'm gonna just check. Sorry, just bear with us for one second. Yeah. Let me look this up. This is an intelligent phototherapy machine. We all need a phototherapy machine in our life. It hasn't got a barcode, so I can't um, look it up on Amazon easily. And it's coming up as a book when I scan the picture, so I'll have to look into that, but that'll probably go on eBay. It's a um, UV LED light for nails. Yeah. Uh, we also have that. A pink one. Oh, this one might have one. No. And aroma diffuser. See the book these probably ends up in the auction because our auction house sells a lot of Costco items, Argos, um can't remember the other one, but it's probably they probably ended Dollars. up in the auction because they've got dented boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. So fifty quid for that one. What what you what you, what do you make of that? No idea. Well, no. No no, no ink things. Just fancied something different and I wanted to keep the steamer for myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, so is it my turn now? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, no. I'll just quickly actually show these. So, Faye um, bid on three of these. They're like LED, uh, not fairy lights. They're called, what do they call them? Um, what did I say on there? For like firefly lights. They're like the little ones. Um, and we paid just under, just over four quid each for these, and these sell for, I think it was $16.99. We got three of them. Two are sealed, one has been opened, so we shall see. Uh, we also got this little chap who we paid £9.68 for. Royal uh, Dalton. Royal Dalton. It's upside down, I know. Um, and the little Labrador. Labrador. And we've seen this sell because if you search on eBay, which I've done, Royal Dalton Labrador, there's all sorts of different sort of styles. Uh, but this sells for over 20 quid, or has sold for over 20 quid. Uh, in fact, I think it was a fair bit more. And it comes in its box. It was a few days ago I looked. Yeah. Uh, there's no Oh. Okay, so what else have we got? Uh, also, we have a. Now, this is the sort of thing, the description was very deceiving. The description is vintage ukulele. So you're like, oh, vintage ukulele. And you get it, and it's literally called <laughs> a vintage <laughs> ukulele. So tenor ukulele in fact so how vintage it is when it comes in a box it's called vintage um who knows anyway there it is um and i looked these up and these sell for i think like 25 30 quid there's all sorts of types and stuff so for us it's just about when we buy things there's a lot of competition. It's just about making sure our listing's better than everyone else's, basically. It could as, be a one save for Christmas. Yeah, we spent £14 on it. So, there's, there's money there. It'll need to go with the courier, so that 
uh, decreases our cost. I just want to get this out of the sun. Oh, okay. So is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, so on my side I have lots and lots of different things. Um, but this interested me. The, the box is really cute. It's like a gift box for a teacher. But inside is jewellery. And we paid, was it £30 for this? Uh, £31.46. And straight away I saw this brooch here. And on the back, it's got the type of brooch it is. And it says, Han Skin, or no, Han Shin Fur Co. Limited. So this, I think, is real fur. But it's um, 1950s rockabilly style, according to the internet. I think I saw three for sale on Etsy and two for sale on eBay in America. But I'm going to go 35 40 for this brooch. And then the rest is in here. We'll just... Keep chatting. I'm just gonna okay. Um, yeah, I've made most of my money back on that. But there's some cute brooches in there. Um, there was a ring. I really like this ring. Yeah. It's cool. It's got a stone on the top, but it's like bound wire. And there's all sorts of clip-on earrings. Um, I've ordered a silver kit to test some of these items to see if they are silver. That's due to come on Wednesday but there was a lot of interest in this lot and so I thought oh I, I want to have a go on that so that's quite nice turquoise stone I know turquoise does quite well um this is a Scottish brooch thistle there's lots and lots of different things in here um so they're easy to list quick to list arm I think it's an arm do you call it an arm cuff mm. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleased with that. There's probably a hundred items in there. These are cute. Are these crochet pins or mm. I don't know. Ooh. Cute. So yeah, so that was a good one. Doesn't take up much room either. And you got a teacher's yeah. pencil case. Not a pencil case. <laughs> okay. Um haven't really picked up much kitchen stuff in the past from the auction, but I fancied doing that this time so picked up this lot here of frying pans how much did we pay uh kitchen oh for these you paid just over 30 i think uh 22 plus 4 plus 4 so yeah 31 pounds so these top four are used and the brand is gotham steel they are pretty good condition for use this one might need a bit of a clean, but I'm not really that bothered about cleaning them. I'll just photograph them as they are. But I've seen two sell, two of this size, for £40 plus post. So I've also got two bigger ones. And this, which is really heavy, and the brand is Star Frit. And this huge thing sells for over £40 and i've seen them only really for sale in america so the postage is high so people are willing to pay to have these pans i might put this on for like 65 pound free postage no yeah sweet let me just move that out of the way okay do you want me to pass the other thing no i'm all right at the moment thank you then another lot was kitchen items it's quite big it's a Draining board, drainery thing. Can't even really show you what it is. It's quite big. Um, what does it say on the invoice for that one? Uh, that was for. Oh, there we go. Two pack utility basket set plus sabatier dish rack. So this is the sabatier dish rack that's on the floor, and they go for quite a bit of money. And we paid. Can't see how much we paid. Eight, nine, about eleven pounds, twelve pounds for these. Which I have no idea what I'll be able to sell these for. Let's see if I can scan it. No, it doesn't come up. So I have to do my research. Utility stacking baskets. Um, but I reckon I can get 35, 40 pounds just for the Sabatier. Or I guess that's how you say it. Uh, drying rack. Um, Shall I get that out of the way? Yeah, that would be good, thank you. You'll have to call that an adult bouncer. Okay. <laughs> Lots of people have joined on Insta. 
Sure. Okay, this coming up next is in a plain white box. <laughs> there wasn't much interest at all on the auction for it. And how much should we pay? Eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven pounds something. So the description is a self-assembly loving bouncer. It's not a baby bouncer. It's, it's an adult bouncer. It's an adult bouncer. <laughs> Should we leave it at that and just move it on? Yeah. Yeah. It's all there. <laughs> just look up. Um, adult bouncer if you want to know more. It's not to keep, by the way. It's to sell. Uh, too much. Um, oh, do you want to hold this one up? Yeah. John Lewis, Wooden Dog Walker. These are popular on um, eBay. They go for quite good money. And we paid... Um, middle somewhere. Yeah, I can't read your blooming writing. That's uh, oh. 16, 24, 23. So I'm probably going to save that one for Christmas. Now, if you like shoes, you're in for a treat. So we have these. They're called five finger shoes even though they're toy toys toes toes these are brand new the brand is vibram five fingers they're pretty hideous but i've seen um pure hustle recently spoke about these on their um on instagram actually i think they were used the ones they had and they got really good money so pleased with these mm. High ND, they go for a lot of money. High copper tree, yeah. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to, we had a family barbecue yesterday and I was going to welcome everyone wearing them. Because we thought they were used. When we bid on them, we couldn't tell if they were new because it doesn't always say new. Sometimes it will say used, but not always. So oh. we weren't sure. But I couldn't. So I couldn't. the fact that they're new is a Bruce Boner. Yeah. So um, the shoes that we got that Faye's just going through now, we spent a total of £373.66. We don't know how many pairs we've got yet, but I'm going to count them off. I'm going to be counting them as Faye reveals them, and then we'll have an average price. So we have a pair of used Dr. Martins, they're silver. Now they are used, they're scuffed, but they're not... The soles are perfect, so maybe they've been in a shop to try on, just been scuffed, not sure. But they My are... chair squeaking, by the way. I don't even know what size they are, I can't see. Uh, UK4. And then these, <laughs> maybe 20 years ago, I'd have worn these, I'm not sure. But these Dr. Martin's sandals, these are a UK6, bright purple, and these have not being worn they are pristine aren't mm, they they're lovely aren't they but well, do you want to like wear that sort of thing <laughs> <laughs> i mean they are they look great that's, yeah that's eye-catching shiny 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 um i don't the the camera's a bit dark i'm gonna go and grab the lamp we're outside and i'm grabbing the lamp uh, because obviously we're we've covered ourselves in shade but it's a bit dark yeah, I have to be in the shade all the time. Uh, okay, next we have a pair of Nike Mercurial football boots. I think the, I don't I don't know much about football boots, whether they're indoor, outdoor, astroturf, or what. Simon will know, but these are brand new, and I think this must be the bag that they come with. Maybe. We think it they kind of match, so please are these indoor or outdoor football boots? Outdoor. Are they Astro Turf or like no, 4G. 4G. They're not 5G now. No. <laughs> I'll put that in there. Okay, and then we also have an empty converse box because these go in there. We have some high top converse trainers, more trainer than sneaker. These are a size nine. 
So we're going to pop those in the box. But they are brand spanking new. There you go. Thank you. So how many? That's two more there, yeah? One more. So there's two there and then this. Ah, uh, they be. These are oh, Nike yeah. Air Force Ones. If only they were my size because I need some new ones. I've got them and they're so comfy. These are UK seven and a half. Oh, <laughs> too big. Too big. So disappointed, but they are so, so comfy. Vibr Brand new as well. Sarah Retail said Vibrams are over £100 to buy. What is? Vibrams, are they the five finger ones? Ah. Vibrams, Vibrams, I'm not sure. I haven't ever owned any. <laughs> Uh, are these from a local like, auction? Yes, um, Louise. We were actually um, broadcasting on in Insta and YouTube, and we we did about 20 minutes on YouTube before we turned on the Insta, so you'll be able to pop over and watch it all. Um, but, yeah, this is a pickup yesterday. Um, we spent just over £1,200 on shoes, DVDs, bric-a-brac, clothes, um, We've shown the sort of DVDs and the bric-a-brac stuff and we thought we'd put the shoes and that on Instagram because people are, I think, more interested in, in that. But we shall find out. So here we have a pair of XTI trainers. They have an RRP of $44.99 and a sale price of $29.99. They come with the box. They're brand new. I'll be peeling off that sale. I know nothing about that brand. Is no. That, have you heard about I that did brand? look it up. I can't remember. Okay. However, they will be sold as new, um, but in the product description, well, it depends if there's new other available. No, there isn't always. Oh, yeah. But I have to put that the box um, has seen better days. Battered. Yeah. And we also have a pair of regatta walking shoes. Brand new again. Box is battered. I think these are Costco. I'm pretty sure they're Costco. Was that an Amazon return label? No, it's not an Amazon oh. return label, no. They're LPN. Um, no. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, more shoes. I have opened this bag already, actually, because my parents came over yesterday for a barbecue and uh, me and my mum sat and I said, oh, let's open a bag of shoes. So we did. And it, I was a little bit disappointed. There was a couple of good pairs and then the rest weren't very good. And it's just like the DVDs. You don't know. They might list on the auction site a couple of brands that are in there and then they'll put etc. So you have no idea what else is in there. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Um, so this is a good pair. There's the other one here. Geox, brand new, with tags. Signs dropping everything over. Yes. Brand new with tags. Trainers, decent size. I think there are six. I'm really, really pleased with those. Lovely. Then we have a pair of unbranded. These are very sort of on trend for now. Sort of clumpy, 90s style. I would have probably worn something like this. They are unbranded plastic, not my thing. Um, I think they're probably a size five or six. I need to, a oh, size six. I know, well, yeah, they're unbranded, but they've got a brand. They're not very so good. Say, brand. No, Koi footwear or something. It's made out of Koi carp, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we have a pair of Soul Diva black painted pumps, but these are a big size. These are a nine triple E, so maybe these are probably good. They'll, they'll probably fly mm. that size. Hi everyone that's just joining. This is just a big auction haul from this week. A pair of leather Aldo Brogues, ladies, size. I hate looking for sizes in shoes. Don't worry about it. No. They're A size. They're A size. They're probably a six, maybe a five and a half. Oh, there they are. Five and a half. Mm. You know your stuff. Then we have Solilas, but these are for office. So a brand just for office. These are sort of on well trend. Used. Well. They're not used. They've probably been tried on or they've just got kind of a blemish on the here. It's probably done in the factory maybe. That's why they've taken them off the shelf. Mm. The burgers, platform espadrille <laughs> ones. Brand new. They have got a mark on them. 
Oh yeah. So I'll see if I can get that out. There we go. I've got to stop. You got to be counting. Keep the count up. Um, right. just some pink with yellow marks on. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Just sliders. No, no brand. Oh, t tomorrow. T morrow. I've had these before in an auction lot. These are just like beach shoes. They did sell, but not for very much, but they're really lightweight. And so just unbranded again, floral trainers. And when I when we um, picked up some shoes a couple of weeks ago from the auction, there was a load of unbranded um, bits and bobs in there and I thought oh do you know what I'm just going to re-donate them I've got the ones out that I wanted to list but I thought no 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 I'll list some and they actually sold straight away so who knows another pair of Aldo shoes these were £50 I got the original price on 15, Simon's counting 16, 17 these aren't Converse these are unbranded imitation grey, brand new. There you go. Just wave at some people. Hi, Sophie. Hi, lady in the front. Hello, everyone. These are workout memory foam. I guess they're trying to be like sketches, sketches, imitations, maybe. But bright pink, again, brand new. 19. These are hideous. Oh, they just sound awful. <laughs> but they're just unbranded silver sparkly, horrible we trainers. We've sold stuff like this before, haven't we? Yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they feel awful. They're like, listen to this. <laughs> oh, God. And then just two more pairs in there. We have a pair of necks. Sort of horse hair style little slip ons, they're three and a half brand new original price 28 pounds. <clears throat> I tend not to pick up shoes that small if I'm just buying by the pair, obviously, can't help it when they're in a bundle. And then, last but not least, ASOS, ASOS, these will go, these will sell quickly. Uh, just a nice pair of size six sliders, brand new. Sweet. Um. Right, we're up to 22 pairs. Okay, I've still got two more bags of shoes. Okay, so at the moment, so we spent, on shoes, we spent um, £373. As Faye's explained, you know, you're buying it blind at the moment because our auction centre, we can't go to, this is all done online. It happens to be our, the auction centre that's closer to us, but it could have been from any auction centre. Um, so at the moment we're on £16.98 average a shoe. So we need more pairs of shoes to get that down. Brand new pair of men's Havianas. Brand new, still with their tags. So that's quite they're a big size as well. 43 44, excuse me. <laughs> USA Lem got hiccups. <laughs> um so men's Primark slider slippers. Oh, I'm having those. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be able to I thought you were going to say, no, you're not. You're not, but <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to retire on them either. Uh, uh, Sketches versions of Birkenstocks. These look all right. They're a UK 7. They look massive for a 7, though, don't they? Mm. You have to try them on, see how they fit. We have a pair of unbranded men's sort of dress shoes. Brand new. They are really lightweight. They are weird. Weird, weird, weird. You still counting? Yep. I'll probably have to do another oh, final sense check at the end, but I'll do that off camera. But at the moment, yeah. So, brand new Hugo Boss sliders. Oh. There we go. See, you just don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. They're nice. And there's a tiny. So. Low battery, low battery warning. I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny mark on the heel. So, um, yeah, that's, I guess, probably why they've gone back. 
these are unbranded trainers but they're still toe cap work trainers and we do really well with this this sort of thing because people don't necessarily want to wear boots they want to wear something that looks quite sort of casual but cool but we're still toe caps to protect their feet at work yeah they'll do well Oh, I've sort of forgotten. I think that was two more. Fashion loafers, men's, navy blue. We were for five, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, got a couple of pairs of Primark sliders. Wow, they're huge. Twelves. Yeah. Wow. So they'll they'll sell just for the size. Size twelve, yeah. Oh, everyone's favourite, Crocs. Brand new tags, pair of Crocs, blue. Size men's seven. They're so light as well. Oh, Georgia as the trainers. Green, brand new with tags. Well, brand new with elastic joining them together. Oh, yeah. That's not a tag. Another pair of beach shoes. We've sold this exact colour before. I mean, you can see why these would be great for sort of paddling around, rock pooling. Yeah. yeah. And finally... Does that come off your jewellery? I don't know. A pair of just Athletic Works men's black trainers. It's so finely, but there's... That, there's that bag. That was oh, yeah. that bag. Uh, right, one, two, I'm, I'm not, having another count. Okay, count quietly. Um, another pickup here, I'm not going to take him out of the bag, but brand new Fly London boots. I don't know if you can see them. They are, there you go, brand new with the box, size eight. And it was, um, excuse it was, the pun, but they should fly. And it was that hanging, don't pass into me yet because I'm still carrying it. It was that sort of one that, that was a lot of its own. So we spent a fair bit on that. So that's, it's these kind of ones that have pushed the uh, the average price or the total price right up. All right, hold on. Hold your horse. I've got to hold on. Just, just. So I'm going to see if anyone's commented. Fish and chips has arrived. Catch up on this later. Enjoy your fish and chips. Sets Sophie's teeth on edge, those cheap trainers. Ooh. And there we go. My phone's beeping. Just sold a waterproof cot bed mattress. That was an auction pickup actually from a few weeks ago. Uh, they go for a lot of money. So I'm still counting. I've got three bags left, and they're not shoes. One is clothing, and two is hats, scarves, belts and accessories and we picked up um, one of those bags of hats, scarves and accessories a few weeks ago, some really good stuff in it and we made our money back really really quickly on just a few items, Ooh. sorry he bought a hub, so I'm, they're packed full so I'm interested to see what's in there, um, I can see some labels and buckles we had like leather driving gloves that um, go for about £60. We had um, silk scarves, cashmere gloves. It, was, it did really well, so I'm hoping there's some good stuff in these two. Oh, there's only one out. 36 so far. Oh, and then those, 37. So is, that, is that all the shoes? Yeah. Okay, so the... No, don't oh, put it too hard. The, good, the total then, so we spent... 373.66 on 10, 20, 37 pairs of shoes. That is £10.09 a pair. So obviously, don't need, yeah, it kind of goes without saying that some of those will clear profit and some won't. The reason we do an average price is because it just makes it easier when listening for the custom SKU. Um, you know, the Fly London boots obviously going to go for really good money along with the five-finger shoes, the, the, Hugo, the Hugo Boss, the Geox. So 
a lot of them are going to do really well and they're going to make up for the ones Trainers, that don't do so well so pre pretty happy. happy with that because on one lot alone we'd spent on one of those we'd spent 50 quid so you know a big percentage 15 percent or something of the total so here we have in this lot there's just two items of clothing we have a men's crag poppers fleece brand new still in its bag uh, i think it's extra large no large might be able to send that into amazon yeah and then this is what i wanted I'll look it up. these are brand new musto and they are called what are they called offshore trousers so i think they are like sort of proper hardcore maybe sort of working out on a boat like a fishing boat or something i'm sure these go for about a hundred and something pounds yeah. over 150 pounds that's out of stock so i can't check the price i haven't i'm not going to search for it on ebay just yet so how much did you say over 150 pounds and they're extra large wow. you might um out of stock they're yacht sailing and boating offshore sailing dinghy trousers red they're gonna be good they yeah we just good. do a quick check and on look, amazon it's got the royal cresting so the queen oh i saw it the queen wears them <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. on the front there yeah, look queen wears those trousers the royal seal of approval <sighs> okay two bags have you got something to put all this in what in what yeah. i'm gonna get out yeah just pile it up pile it up so these two bags i have done some explaining um we spent a total of 169 pound 22 on it's a bit more than what we've spent on this sort of thing before but the f last time we did it was kind of the first time and we really made some good money so we were just willing to you know pay more to get more anyone know what this is it's 100 percent bamboo and it's a virus static shield, whatever that is. Ooh. But virus could be relevant. And we also have this, which is a the original multifunction seamless wear. Oh, it's got a barcode. Let's have a look. Uh, great way to source. I've never been to. Uh... Oh, it's a headwear, bandana scarf, elastic tube for hiking and cycling. Cool. Uh, so India was saying, great way to source. I've never been to an, uh, an auction, but it's something I will consider. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. Braces? And, and we don't, we, it's all, we, we're sourcing it all online. We're doing the online auctions um, from the auction houses, and then we just go and pick it up. Or if it's far away, we do another one up north, and we just, they just ship it to us. So you think it says Hig, Hig, but it's Hoogar headbands. I've got a couple of these. Ooh. Brand new. Um, a bag of bandanas. A Love Lottie hair clip bow. I'm not going to trade it in a bag because it's going to average price. Them. No idea what this is, but it's black and it's in a bag. Indy didn't know the Queen went deep sea fishing. Well, well now you do you know. Do. What is this? It's, baby. it's a baby bonnet. It's a knitted baby bonnet. Oh. Cute. I feel like I should go get a poly bag for it. Oh, wait. This I think is a mask. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, what we got here? A green scarf that says Ultras. Um, who's Ultras? I don't know. Ultras, they're like a football hooligan. Thing, aren't they? Uh, uh, oh, it's Celtic. Oh, okay, Celtic scarf, and then a, a hat with <laughs> Henry on it. <laughs> yeah. So we're looking for a specific customer. Hey, um, oh, just anyone that's missed the beginning. This is what we've done. Where is it so far? We've got that stuff. Loads of DVDs and games under here. Um, PlayStation games, and all sorts of stuff. And down to the shoes. Anyway, I've made everyone dizzy now. Okay, so this is a buff, multifunctional 
headwear original i've just scanned the barcode out of stock and the sales rank on amazon is 2148 so that's good, it's gonna be good yeah. they also have a jane and drill grow with me sun hats hi mts reselling good to see you yeah long time no see this is a auction haul from a pickup we did this week um no idea what that yeah, is yeah you have to watch it all back another see mask what, see what else we got What's this? A two-in-one infinity nursing scarf. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? This has got a barcode. $17.99. Hmm. Love that. How many items do you reckon there is so far? 20? Must be. 3M insulate woolly hat. Oh, yeah, these are the sort of things you get, like, for £2 when you fill up a, Put a petrol a station. Petrol station. <laughs> Another one of those things. But I bet it's probably... Carter and Rise menswear woolly hat. Anyone heard of Carter and Rise? Another one, high kick Huga headband. Carter and Rise. Another Huga headband. All these are going to be well, quite good. Build us up with head headbands. Ooh, we've sold this brand before. Baseball cap, brand new baseball cap. New York Yankees, new era. We've done. We've sold that cool. before. Another bandana. Some duty gardening gloves. So you could do with some new gardening gloves. They look a bit small. Another Celtic scarf. Apparently they're large. Oh, maybe you can. I'll try them. There you go. Another Celtic scarf. Yeah. yeah. Um, a part and something or other. Oh, the box coming up what is this this has got koi carp on it create create mirrors miracle and trend it's got koi carp on it sun hat bucket hat something green in a bag i need this for the sun <laughs> it's crunchy oh give me that i need that as well my haircut mountain warehouse kids skiing gloves brand new tags sorry if this is boring well, you don't have to watch more braces. Thing is, I love watching things like this, like when I'm listing or packing or whatever. So, you know, each to their own. Don't some know what people, this Some is. people will find it boring, some people will find it interesting. It's called Chantel, whatever that is. This feels nice. Winter collection bubble hat. Brand new with tags. Ladies chenille bubble hat. It's like, it's like a fascinator, but mini hat with a clip on it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was creepy. Another face mask. I'm going to take a guess that we've got 30 items so this far. This looks like a bit of like it's adult material. That looks pretty. Let's open it up. Come on. I'm going, I'm going S and M on this one. It could just be a belt. Hold on. <laughs> Avert your eyes, everybody. Oh no! I don't know what's going to happen. What is that? <laughs> don't know. Well, it's got a bow on it. It's going to be something kinky, isn't it? We'll have fun working out what that is then. Yep. <laughs> we'll do that later. Um, <laughs> mask. Mask. <laughs> uh, this is a Dennis by Dennis Basso scarf. Uh, we've got some Intel from Flipping with eBay. Carter and Rise is a cheap blue ink brand. Okay. Thanks for letting us yeah, know. Yeah, uh Indie Chips will mind a headband as my roots are scary. Oops. Are you still doing your yoga videos, Indie Chips? Uh, I'm listening as we speak. You're my background. Oh, God. I was right in my eye. <laughs> so, you're my background sound, so I don't feel alone. Oh, yeah, that's why I, I watch a lot of YouTube for that. I've only got 10% battery left. That's why right, I plug it in. Bit of a mood killer if you have to untangle it for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Wed wedding night, please. 
<laughs> we'll take that off. Another mask. Some driving gloves. Then we have box, and it says his den. Don't know what that is uh mts reselling i looked Ooh. at auction but was busy at the time the auction was did a few bids beforehand but didn't win any yeah it's um with the online ones the, i think I, I find the optimum time is 15 minutes from the end so you don't trigger so if they get no more bids after the 10 minutes you, it doesn't trigger the 10 minute rule so if you put your bid in at sort of 11 minutes and no one else bids it, it won't trigger the 10 minute rule so yeah, that was the I'd say 15 to sort of 11 minutes for us we, when we did. But yeah, if you can't be there, you can't do it. Although, I've, I'll, I'll just sit there on my phone no matter where I am. Rock Jock hat. Magic with a K hat. In teaching on Zoom, so the YouTube has taken a back seat. Okay. Rock Jock. Yeah, I thought I, thought I hadn't seen any notification ah detachable pom-pom that goes on there who knew wow where'd you put your pom-pom when you after you detached it it's a bit of a pain isn't it you oh, carry it around don't, don't bother don't another bother. mask Just pops on. we have here yeah. a delta waterfowl hat so i'm guessing it's just some kind of fishing Thing. I would say we've got what 50 items at least Bandana. so far. So we're, Bandana. we're approaching the what do we yes, Barcelona accessories collection scar. Another black hat, ASOS woolly hat. Everyone a needs a woolly hat with a hair on it. Beachfield bucket hat with a lemon on the front. Everyone needs a lemon hat. Oh, what's this? Next. Three to four years, £17. An item of clothing. A morph micro fleece. Brand new. Got another box coming up. I don't know if this is another mask. We're right for masks, aren't we? Insane, wrapped in love equilibrium. I hope it's not wrapped in love. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if these masks have got paid auction because someone got sort of kicked off for price gouging or something. Pretty stuff. That's really nice. Is it got a barcode? Yeah. Just say equilibrium. Yeah, metallic something box scarf. Not on Amazon. There you go. Another bandana. <laughs> Another rock drop multifunctional headgear. A ribbon. Go. Oh, a cricket hat. Oh, yes. Some more gardening gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we got well, here? It's like the trendy way to wear these anyway. <laughs> is it like side on like that? Going to the races. Or is it? I don't know where I'm. A pom beanie hat. <laughs> Um, a mask or a scarf or something. What's this? Buy one, get them free. Mix and match mountain warehouse super stretch fleece neck gaiter. Wow. Great for all those people that want to go skiing but can't. Including us. 9 that was. Bandana. Is this still the same bag? Yep. Baseball cap. Oh, you got to put this one <laughs> Look at this, this goes at the front. Yeah, that's there. I don't, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> it's like a fez. What's this? Is this supposed to be on the side? Beautiful, Simon. Or a hairband or something else. I think this could be your main image for your listing, you know? Yeah. Oh, look, Adidas Inertia, three, four packs, gloves, four packs of them. Should I scan them? Yeah. Nine, well, nine ninety nine they were. Not on there. We have a Mountain Warehouse hat. Yeah, 
getting windy. Mask? Anyone want a mask? Yeah, yeah, if you need a mask, we've got masks, it seems. Scarf? I don't think it's got a label. It doesn't feel like silk or anything. But then what do I... Oh, hang on, what's that? Nothing. Le Meux. Le Meux. Something luxury hat silk. Not sure what that is. French rose, one size. Pom pom hat silk. 24, 25 on Amazon with a sales rank of 3,615. Wow, I need that. Oh, another hat. Do you know what? I might keep a hat for when we go on holiday. I'll put it there because it okay. needs to charge. A pashmina -y scarf thing. Oof. Your bag must be a lot bigger than the bag I'm putting it back into. Another I'm baseball cap. Gonna fill up over it. <laughs> so got loads. ODF. What's that? Thing? I don't know, but here I've got a Justice Spacer belt for running. Anyone know ODF? ODF. Let's scan this. Not not on there. Mask? Anyone for a mask? Bands Facebook app? Oh, cool. Um, a hair bow. MTS reselling, starting a YouTube channel. Nice, no, just a belt. That'll get donated, I think. Yeah, I won. Just won two GoPros in another auction, but um, I think I'm going to sell them because kind of happy with the cameras that we've got sort of working now isn't it yeah black felt beret from pretty little thing black felt beret <laughs> a brown scarf not really much going on with that a navy seal facebook hat is that still how much stuff have you still got in there loads isn't there yeah a scarf <sighs> a mask A woolly hat. Another scarf. <laughs> well, you certainly got a lot of outfits to consider, haven't you? Yeah, what's this? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh my God. Classic. <laughs> uh, we can't say that. What does it say on there? The lovely eggs. The lovely eggs. This has got to be like... Some sort of stag do thing or something. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, another fascinatory thing. Hi, everyone that's joining. We're just going through a um, auction hall. <laughs> uh, we've hey. been live for an hour and three minutes on YouTube. Um, and I'm not sure how long on Instagram. About 20 minutes short, that, I think. Like an so, Australian leather hat. For those of you that are hanging around or watching it back, thanks for making it so far through. There's more to come. You can always come back. And if, like, if you're watching this on replay, you can always uh, watch it in 10 minute chunks or something. Oh, look, it's a faux leather belt. And on that program, How to Look Good or whatever it was last night, faux leather has a bit of stretch. So it's great for any outfit. Well, there you go. Brilliant. I might wear that. Oh, mowing the lawn later. Sorry, everyone. Oh, look, white gloves. Hit your head. Like Masonic, oh, yeah. like Freemason gloves. Yeah. Belt. Uh, MTS reselling. We got a belt. Go Hero 8 bundle, I think. So it's the one with all the accessories. Paul Smith, like, thing to go in your. It's a silk. 100% silk pocket. Hanky thing. Oh. Sorry, um, carry on. No, it's right. Uh, yeah, we've got the GoPro 4 and I think the GoPro Hero 8 bundle. Uh, flipping Sloth, he has a Discord where everyone chats. Resellers, no. No, Flipping Sloth, I haven't come across. Another silver. Them. We'll check it out. 
some gloves. Well, windstopper gloves. I can't believe there's still more stuff. Oh, this is Nike. A Nike's like cycling hat. Yeah. And you. I'm run I've got nowhere to put it now, so I need you to get to the bottom of that bag. Okay. Oh, a hump correction belt. And another hump correction belt. What? A hump? Oh, for your back? For a camel. Hey, look. Some nice plants on there. Check that out. It's, this is the sort of... This is like... This is Mike Skinner, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got a Nike one as well. Brand new tag. So you thought I paid up for this, but I don't think I have. Not considering how many items there are. <laughs> There's a massive pile. Next, you've got brand new know, tags. Ali, that's one. There is a. We so we paid for two bags. We paid 167 pounds, and we haven't even got to the second bag yet. There's um, well over 100 items that you've pulled out over here already. But the issue is, of course, is listing them. There you go, you can put it back in here. There's um, a bow tie in there. Yeah, already. Um, yeah, the issue is listing it all, so it's a case of prioritising, isn't it? Picking out oh, yeah, the always. things. Picking out the things that you want to list that have got the value. Um, you know, so really, I probably should have tried to put those back in a different bag. The mask, though, I mean, like for us. Yeah, I, don't that, I don't think we need that many though, do we? No, but who knows how long we're going to have to... Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Oh, done. Nude papillon. I've started there. Bow tie. Look at this bow tie. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this the new bag? Yeah, we have a wig. An cool. Alice Swiss lace wig. I'm going to scan that. Or with the buyer app because it's got FN SKU and you can't scan FN SKU with the seller app. Is it going to work? Hi everyone that's joined. I don't no. know if anyone who's joined since I last said it. Now the baseball cap. I don't know what that is. Um, a Dulce Petite, sixteen pounds out. <laughs> Ooh, I mean that's what what occasions you think that is. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really nice, but I don't know where it's from or what it's made of. But it's a lovely you, scarf, and, and you don't know where it's been. No, I don't know where it's been. Not like a. Another scarf. <laughs> this is a Santa Cruz classic label dot beanie in black. USA belt. It says USA on it. But it's brand new. A be here and love baseball cap. Oh, another bucket hat. This one is Outdoor Collection Reversible Hat. I'm going to scan this one. £15 on the price tag. Not on Amazon. <coughs> we have a pair of Miss Sparrow London gloves. Another scarf with elephants on it. Another scarf. Oh, look, some bandanas. I think everyone's like, I think everyone's lost the woods in here, but I'm not sure if there's anyone watching currently. More bandanas. I mean, can you imagine? When I upload this, it's going to be... Men's left gloves. An hour of just hats and gloves. ASOS Design Mix and Match Crinkle Tanga Bikini. A more fleecy thing again. Oh, is this what? It's a doll's house. 
I'm not sure what that is. Looks questionable. The doll's house extra small. What would you do? I mean, you had one of those weird things the other day, didn't you? That you didn't know what it was and you worked out it was for boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Empty bag. Green scar. Oh, it's got a massive hole in it. Uh, shut that that way. Bucket hat for kids. That's oh, my goodness. Aquascutum scarf. Brand new tags. Has it got a massive hole in it? Don't know. 100% lamb's wool. All the other stuff I've bought hasn't got holes in it. What's this? Very nice. Tommy Hill figure baseball cap. <coughs> Scarf. Is this the right glove? No, this is the left glove again. So, is there a sport where people just wear work? Yeah, that was, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I don't think earlier. It's the golf glove. Oh. It's a golf glove. You just wear one. Do you? And if you're right handed, you wear a left glove. Or the other way around. McLaren Honda baseball cap. Nice. This That'll sell bad quick. boy. That'll sell quick. Oh, accessories by George. That has the scarf. That won't sell quick. Bandana. I'm running out of room again. Bandana. Bandana. Bandana, bandana. We have here a Muslim couture jib jihab. Oh, oh cool. I don't even sell those before, have we? No. Oh, look, a mask with... Woody. Woody. Oh, it's a Toy Story one. But they've... How does that work? They've put the things you. on the wrong side. That is supposed to be... <laughs> but the elastic bits are there. Yeah, don't try it on. No. You don't know who yeah. else has tried it on? No. Yeah, that's... Bandana, bandana. That's, <laughs> that's been bad. That's been mismanufactured, isn't it? Belt. Oh, Polo Ralph Lauren, brand new with tags. Belt. Belt. Boom. Boom. It's like, uh, what do you call that? Um, oh, it's like a woven one. Yeah, woven. A little girl's headband. Oh, I'll give that. A red and white striped scarf. I think you need to put this on, babes. Oh, what is this? Maz accessories, handmade, 100% wool. Oh no. <laughs> no, is it bone? I don't know, you got to put that on though. Oh god, it's so hard. Another one of these? <laughs> Ted Baker, when men's I wear a belt. Hat, when I wear a hat, I can really see how much I need a um, haircut. haircut. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I knew I needed one. He does need one. A scarf. <sighs> Running out of room down here. Oh, what's this? What brand is it? Pretty little thing. Hang on. Is it, uh, it's like is a utility it? belt. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You can literally hang so much off that. Yeah. You can hang it up in the barn and. Oh, it's another wrongly made. Face mask. Oh, a scarf. How much more stuff have you got there? It's okay. No, I know, I'm just. Um... Nanny's handkerchiefs. Why hey. did you say Nanny's handkerchief? Oh, because the sort of thing that your nanny would have. Uh, Grandma. Brand new anthropology scarf. £44. Yes. I'm happy with that. Nice. One-handed glove. We're not going to see this stuff again for at least six months, I don't reckon, because it's going to get shoved in the queue behind everything else to lift. Well, that's weird, isn't it? It's a hat. Mm. That is the weirdest hat I've ever seen. Oh, look, and we've got another one. Is that meant to be torn like that? Oh, it's the innards and so yeah. mm. Oh, look, what's this one? British Classics King Ice. This is very Is that orch. Peaky Blinders? Oh, yeah, you can wear it to the auction. I might wear this to the auction. Cubby. Now, now on. Yeah. 
And we have here a Facebook app. A, I think this is a headscarf again. I don't know. Nearly done. An all ages <laughs> records London beanie. I don't think anyone's made it all the way through. Another. I don't blame scarf. you, to be honest. But, you know, when you're listing Ooh. or whatever, you can just nip in and check out bits of it. Bit of background music. Background Kath noise. Kidston sort of headscarf. Brand new. I'm really pleased with these. Yeah. What about you, babes? Well, yeah, I mean... Kensington accessories belt. The, the great... What I love about buying is selling. <laughs> so, like, I get excited to sell this stuff, you know? As well as, like, looking at it. But I'm just thinking, you know, of the returns at the end of the day. So, yeah, I'm, I am pleased. Zara that... belt. Zara. Is that... Damn. Yeah, it's condensation. It's condensation. Yeah, we need to, got a lot of stuff in the sun. I need to get out the sun. All ages London Records baseball cap, a H and M scarf, and we'll end on this. Do we think it's got a label on it? I just saw one. By Alfredo Versace scarf. Alfredo Versace. Well, yeah, I don't know. Is it Versace or is it just some Alfredo Versace? Yeah, it's Alfredo Versace. Well, there you go. <laughs> and wow. that... That's it. Okay, where's the mouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Thanks ever so much for watching, Thank everybody. You. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it killed some time if you've got spare time. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.